Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Time to recap a few more high school student athletes who signed with colleges last week. We'll pick it up from last Wednesday night at Baird High School. Nice crowd on hand to senior volleyball standout Danica Hassel finalized her decision to head to Shadron State. So I got the opportunity to go up to the college and I got to meet with the coaches and watch a few of their games and I just fell in love with how they ran everything. Their team is a really well-knit team. They all work together really well and the coaches are unbelievable. They have a lot of respect for their athletes and they expect the best out of them. As a junior, Hassel was part of a state tournament team at Baird and this season the Tigers were 30-0 before falling in a district final. Hassel led the team in kills this season. It uh, definitely prepared me well. Um, our coaches this last year were absolutely amazing to the team. They prepared us for every good outcome, every bad outcome, and they were just un unbelievable coaches. Hassel sent to join a Shadron State team that's put up a winning record so far this year as they're getting set to play in the RMAC postseason tournament. It's always been my dream to play college volleyball ever since I've started playing since I was about five years old, so I'm about 12 years in now. I always wanted to play at the college level and see how much better I can do. Baird Volleyball standout Danica Hassel signing last week to join the program at Shadron State. Then on Thursday morning, it was off to Bridgeport where basketball star Olivia Loomis Girdle made her long known plans official. She'll head to the D1 level to play at the University of Northern Colorado. Um, their program is really growing and getting strong. They have they brought in some new coaches and they, they work really well together and the teammates I got along with, I fit well with them, just their system, it just felt right, it felt like home. I'm closer to home too and my sister's at CU, so I'm close to her too. Loomis Girdle's been starring for Bridgeport since her freshman season and this will be her lone season playing without big sister Ruthie, who's a freshman at Colorado. Despite that major loss, Olivia says they'll be right back in the mix statewide again this year. We're still going to be good. We still have the same goals. Um, we're a little bit different this year, but it doesn't change the fact. Have the same goals, have the same motive. So we'll work and see where we get. Loomis Girdle averaged right near 20 points per game last season and says they plan on ending this season right back in the same place they've been the three prior years. Um, yeah, so it's our last year. And um, so if we can make it all four years of my high school, that'd be great. And I mean, we know what we have to do. We know what we got to work on. So I think it's all just putting in that work and setting those goals, holding each other accountable so we can get to that place. Olivia Loomis Girdle and her Bridgeport teammates with big goals for this upcoming season before she heads off on her own to play at Northern Colorado. There was WNCC basketball over the weekend with both teams playing twice out on the road. The Cougar men went 2-0 down in Goodland, Kansas, including that thrilling double overtime win against Northwest Kansas Tech. On the women's side, the first loss of the season for the Cougars, that was Friday at Western Wyoming, bounced back nicely to beat Laramie County on Saturday this weekend. Both teams head to Powell, Wyoming for games against Northwest and Central Wyoming. That is the latest today from right here at the FNBO Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.